This class is going to be more like a bar fit class. So a little bit more fast paced and all about the booty. So a little bit of instructions. This will be your right side and this is going to be your left side. I will mirror you. So the other thing is your plumb line. It's imaginary. It's an imaginary line that goes straight between your silks. It's your balancing point. It goes straight up to the sky and straight down to the ground. Every time you move away from this plumb line, it's going to intensify the pose or throw your balance off a little bit. So come back onto that plumb line and it's going to be really good and comfortable. The other thing is if you attend an aerial yoga class in your community, please don't wear any jewelry. That makes holes in the silks. And if you got one at home, you would totally understand and make sure you take good care of it. So we're going to start on the left side of our fabric today. We're going to open up our fabric. There's a front end and a back end. You're going to want to put your arms in one arm into the front and your other arm into the back. And then you're going to bend your elbows and start to bring your chest parallel to the ground. Walk underneath your plumb line. Walk your feet out about three feet apart. Bend those elbows and start to sink the chest. It is such a juicy shoulder opener, chest opener, heart opener. Breathe here. We're going to take about three full long inhales and exhales. If you want, you could, as you drop the core, allow yourself to draw the navel in towards the spine to protect your back. One more big breath here. When you're ready, we're going to inhale. We're going to go towards the right side. So right elbow comes towards the right hip. Left arm goes over towards the right. Good. As you exhale, come back to center. Inhale, go over to the opposite side. So it really doesn't matter which side. Just flow here. Elbows are bent like cactus, and you're just going from the right to the left. Let the head, the neck relax. If you would like to add a modification as you come back over to the right, keep the right elbow bent. Maybe straighten out that left leg, as it, left arm, excuse me, as if you're punching it across the room. And then switch sides. Rebend that left elbow towards the left hip and then straighten the right arm and extend it out. It's going to stretch out all those intercostal muscles. Repeat that on the opposite side, breathing here and stretching it all out. As you come back to center, we're going to do a little modified cat-cow. Keep your elbows nice and bent. Inhale, look up between your hands. It's okay if the fabric's in front of your face or not. As you exhale, tuck the chin, round out that spine. Maybe you straighten the arms, maybe you keep them bent. But you'll re-bend the elbows. As you inhale, press down in your palms. Inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck the chin, round the spine. Press down into the palms. Drop the chest, inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, hollow out. Draw the belly button around the spine. Beautiful, one last time. Bend the elbows, inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin, round it out. Breathe, beautiful. When you're ready, you're gonna come back to your chest parallel to the ground and then slowly bring your knees down to the earth. Let the feet come back behind you. Take a nice big breath, straighten the arms and start to rotate the shoulders so the arms come behind you. You can do one at a time. Then bend the elbows, let the head, the neck come down, relax. When you're ready, start to sway yourself from side to side, breathing here. If you have a really uh, warmed up back or if you feel like this is okay, you can add a modification. If not, just stay right here, maybe you tuck your toes and go back, let the head and neck go back, bringing the hands to heart center. But if you want to add to this and go a little deeper, what you can do is as your arms are still bent in that elbow position, you can start to walk the knees back and maybe start to lower the hips down to the earth. When you're ready, you'll bring your hips back towards your heels, start to lift the chest around the spine and maybe start to lean back. Hands will come back in front of the chest to open up the heart. Maybe if you feel like it, you can lift up off of the heels and then lower the hips you can try that one more time inhaling coming up with the hips over the knees rotating the arms back behind you gently bend the elbows let the head and come down to the earth inhale
whenever you feel like you can flow here, you can either start to lower the hips back down to the earth. Remember, that's a huge shoulder open, a huge back bend. If you have a block, you can always use the block under your hips, bringing your hips down, and then maybe start to bring the hips back towards the heels, tuck the toes, rotate the arms back out in front of you. Hands come back to palm center, let the head and neck go back. Maybe you start to lift the hips, or if it feels better to just leave the glutes on the heels, do that. Inhale, gently rise back up. Here's what you want to do. Just make sure your fabric is down by the elbows again. You want to step your feet out into a goddess squat, but straighten out that right foot and flex the toes towards your face. Keep your left knee bent, heel up off the ground, straighten the right hand, bend the left. Inhale, press down into your palms to switch sides. You will bend your right knee and then straighten the left leg, flex the left toes towards your face. Good, breathe, inhale. You're gonna to start to flow here. You can go as fast or slow as you want to switch sides, re-bending the left knee, coming into this ninja stance and then switching out your hands and legs. Good, if you go back to the right side, you bend your right knee, straighten out your left foot, maybe flex the toes towards your face and move, flow. Three more times on each side. Feel the posture, allow yourself to open up the hips. Move with fluidity, you can always Use your hands to maybe lean back if that feels good for you. It's just yogi's choice here to play in this fluid, fluid ninja pose. And just letting the body organically flow as if it was flowing like water. Allow the toes, bend the toes, breathe. One more last time on each side. I like to use my hands to sort of help me move through by lifting my hips, so pressing down to lift the hips and go over to the other side. As you come back to your right side, what you're gonna do is you're gonna rotate your body back towards the front of your mat. Remember, I'm always mirroring you, so I switch out. Bring, come onto your knees. Tuck your little toesies back behind you. Take a nice big breath. You're gonna go ahead and release your fabric and go ahead and hold the fabric with the hands at shoulder width apart. Take a nice big inhale. You're gonna roll onto the ball of the toes, lifting the heels. Take a nice big breath and we'll drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Draw the belly button in towards the spine, activating your core, activating that mula bandha, finding the balance. Maybe you, you bring your hands out of the fabric or the palms together and heart center inside the fabric or maybe you bring them to heart center into the chest, but find that flow of that breath within your body and the stillness. It's okay to wobble in the body, but there's still a stillness within the heart. One more breath. Nice, we're gonna transition here. So you wanna bring your hands out like you're riding a bike, holding the silks like you're riding a bike, palms at shoulder width apart. Then go ahead and allow the heels to come down towards the earth as you lift your hips, coming to a nice flat back. Maybe walk the knees out a little, or the feet out a little wider to hip distance apart. Take a nice inhale, look up between your fabric. As you exhale, tuck the chin towards the chest, roll yourself up to standing. We're gonna do a little flow here. So inhale, look up. Exhale, hinge at those hips, come halfway, Adha Uttanasana. Inhale here, look up for a little modified cat. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, squat down by lifting the heels, dropping the glutes towards the heels. Round out the spine, and then inhale, look up, Exhale, heels come flat, hips go high. Coming to a flat back. Good, inhale, look up. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, roll yourself back up to standing. That's the sequence. So inhale here. Exhale, hinge halfway, flat back. Inhale, gaze up. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, squat down, lifting the heels and booty comes towards the heels. Inhale, look up. Exhale, feet come flat, start to raise the hips. Coming to a flat back, inhale, exhale, tuck and roll to standing. Good, two more, inhale, exhale, halfway. Inhale, look up, exhale, squat down. Inhale, look up, exhale, heels flat, lift the hips. Good, nice, getting the blood moving through the body here, inhale. 
roll yourself up to stand last one doesn't matter if you go the same pace as me or if you find your own pace inhale look up exhale tuck the chin squat it down knees go a little bit wider look up exhale heels flat onto the earth lift the hips good from here stay here for a second just start to sway yourself from right to left all right we're gonna come into a downward dog so you're gonna inhale roll yourself back up to standing walk forward towards that plumb line push your fabric down so it comes underneath those hip bones walk your feet forward this is going to help you find this balance and hinge yourself forward so you see how i make a figure seven that fabric gets nice and caught right in that hip crease find your breath and bring your hands to heart center let's hold this for three two you can do it one more breath nice gently start to bring the hands down to the ground walk your feet back lift the feet up off the ground press the palms into the earth and press back into a modified downward dog take the legs out wide hook the feet around the front and just wag your little tail from side to side let's do a fire hydrant dog you're going to take an inhale drop down that right leg towards the earth maybe you take your right hand back towards your ankle and then slide the left leg a little bit up the, the fabric but keep a micro bend in the knee and then take your left hand towards that right ankle and breathe let's switch out sides bring your hands back to the earth to find your stability take that right leg back around the outside of your fabric slide your left leg down your fabric unhook your left leg start to bring it down towards the earth and reach that left hand back to this to your foot and then slide the right leg up the fabric to make sure you're locked in and go ahead and grab onto the ankle breathe it out one more breath right relax release the leg and then once you've found the stability on the floor your hands are flat onto the earth unhook that right leg start to walk the feet towards the plumb line walk your hands back towards your plumb line use your core engage it there and then slowly roll yourself up to standing once you get to the top bring your arms out and then roll your shoulders back a couple times roll those shoulders back three times and then roll your shoulders forward three times. All right, let's loosen it up both directions. Okay, so here, let's get the party started. You're gonna be behind your silks. Plie your feet out so the toes come out to the edge of the mat. The heels are gonna be touching, like a little ballerina. I was not a very good one, but it's okay. Take a nice inhale. As you exhale, knees come wide, squat straight down. You don't wanna drop the chest forward. Inhale, rise up. Let's go for 10, 10, nine, seven six keep breathing five four squeeze three two and one beautiful left toes go forward right toes go to the back of the left heel you're just going to take it straight back behind you and bring it down it doesn't have to go that high you just keep it nice and low and bring out you just want to squeeze the glutes for eight seven six five four three two and one nice from here i want you to keep that foot the same way but bend the knee heel goes back you're just going to take it out to the side a little bit for ten nine eight seven six five four three two and one beautiful Toes come to the outer edges of your mat. 15 degrees. Nice wide plie. Ready? Let's go down for 10. Squeeze. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Squeeze. Three, two. Engage those glutes. And one. Right toes come forward. Left toes go to the back of those right knees right heel and then let's go for 10 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 you got this one more beautiful bend the knee heel back and 10 10 9 8 7 6 5 Four, you're squeezing this upper part. 
two and one. Beautiful. Little plies, toes out, heels together 10 times. 10, squeeze, nine, core engage, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's go again. Left toes forward, right toes to the back of the left heel. 10, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, doesn't have to go that high, two, and one. Good. Bend the knee, focus on this upper part of the glute for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, that's how my twin sister has the best glutes, and one. Beautiful, feet out wide, let's go. Squat down for 10, squeeze, nine, eight, seven, six, you got this, five, four, three, two, last one, and boom, right toes straight, left toes to the back of the right heel, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bend the knee for 10, nine, eight, keep breathing, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you got it. Good job, toes out wide. Let's go, 10, nine, eight, seven, core engage, five, four, and keep squeezing, three, two, you're almost there, good, beautiful, last set, little plies, for 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, left toes go forward, right toes go back, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently bend that knee. Ready? Let's go. 10, nine, think about the upper glute. Five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful job. Toes out wide and squat, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right toes forward, left toes to the back of the right heel, 10. Last one, good job. Bend the knee, let's go for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, that's right, you're good. Toes out wide, this is our last little set. Nice wide ones for 10, nine, make it count, this is it. Five more. Two and one. Beautiful job. You can take a sip of water, pause the video if you feel like it, or keep going, whatever feels good, but always remember to drink water. Okay, so from here, what I want you to do is step your right, right foot to the front of the mat, take your left leg back and behind you, crossing it across towards the right, Make sure for proper alignment, when you squat, you wanna make sure this front knee stays over that front ankle, okay? Let's go for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. 
Come back to center. Extend the arms straight out. Let's take a warrior three for three breaths. Stretch it out for three, two, and one. As this leg is parallel, you're pressing down in the right big toes. Your arms are extended straight out in front of you. You're gonna crunch in for 10. So inhale, exhale, pull the elbows, rounding it towards the knee, round the back. Good, extend it back out, straighten out the body, nice and parallel to the ground, and pull it back in, elbows to knees. Good, let's go for eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, let's make these 30 minutes count, one, great job, stand up, you're going to make sure that leg is nice and flat on the floor, left leg, cross the right leg back and crossing towards the back of your mat on your left side, then you're going to bend both knees and squat down for 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, four, three, two, and one. Good job, come back to your warrior three. So keep that left foot nice and grounded. Shoot the right leg straight back behind you, dropping the chest and shooting the arms out in front of you to warrior three. Keep yourself nice and balanced, both hips are facing down towards the earth, and hold for two more breaths. Let's take the crunches on this side. Inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Crunch it out, round out the spine. Good, straighten back out. Exhale, pull it all in, rounding out. Beautiful, let's go. 10, ha, <laughs> just kidding, you already did two. So eight, seven, six, five, it's okay if you wobble, four, three, two and one beautiful job let's shake it out nice job today you're going to go ahead and stretch it out so come back behind your fabric take your right foot swing your right foot through the fabric let it hook behind the knee reach your arms up as high as possible and start to lean the hips forward start to arch back as you're holding onto the fabric drop the shoulders away from the ears come up onto the back ball of the back toe of, of the foot on the floor and just breathe into it, inhale. Good, as you exhale, come back to standings, flat on that left foot, and then start to massage the fabric down that right leg towards your ankle. Inhale, exhale, work that foot back up, fabric back up to the back of that ankle again. And then one more time, work it down towards the ankle. As your fabric comes down towards the ankle, push the fabric as you forward fold towards the knee. Breathe into the back of the hamstring. And then as you inhale, gently rise back up to standing. Pull that fabric down your calf. All right, we're gonna come to standing pigeon. Bend the knee in so the right heel comes to the left hip. Bring your shoulders through your fabric and start to lean the hips forward. So you could stay here, coming up onto the ball of the back foot, or you can start to sink down by letting the head, the neck, everything fold forward. If you feel like giving yourself little sways from side to side, you can do that. If you wanna just stay still, feel free to do that. It's your practice. But most important is you breathe into your hips, you relax the body so that the heart starts to slow down in your little cool down. And then inhale, press down in the standing leg to stand straight up. Rise up, slowly bring those shoulders out of your fabric. Push your fabric down to your ankle, slide your hands up your fabric, get a good grip. You're gonna lean back and swing out your feet, so switching out those feet. Good, step down that right foot onto the floor. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna go ahead and take a little forward fold, head to knee. And then inhale, gently rise up. You're going to work that fabric down your calf. 
all the way to the knee. And then go ahead and work it back towards the ankle. And one more time down towards the knee. And as you come down towards the knee, bend your knee. Reach your hands up your fabric and take that lean forward into that lunge, letting your head, neck gently go back. If you need to keep it forward, you can. But breathing into this lunge, breathing into this right hip flexor, full breath cleansing breath out nice when you're ready gently begin to rise back up to standing work that fabric back down towards your ankle I'm gonna slide that fabric down your calf bend the knee open so that the heel comes to your hip on that right side and then bring your shoulders through the fabric keeping the left knee bent start to lean your body forward coming up onto the back toes of that right foot and then if you felt like it and you did it on the other side, you can slowly begin to let the head and neck come down. If you want to stay stagnant on this side and not move, feel, you're allowed to do whatever feels good in your practice. If you want to move a little bit from side to side, then organically you just start to sway the body gently from side to side. Little sways so that the hips feel that love, but they don't feel overstretched or overworked. Inhale, place the standing foot back flat on the earth to rise up. Bring your shoulders through your fabric. Allow that leg to straighten back out. Reach up to your fabric, just grabbing on to the back edge or from the middle to the back edge of your fabric. Go ahead and bring that right foot into your fabric. And then scoot the booty into your fabric. Once your butt is inside your fabric, maybe bring those shoulders down. Start to scoot the whole, your whole entire body. Wiggle in, wiggle around until you can feel like you're totally lying down inside of your fabric. Make a nice inhale, maybe bring those knees to the chest, wrap your arms around your knees, give yourself a nice, big, beautiful hug. Inhale, exhale the breath. One more juicy, juicy inhale, fill up, fill up, fill up. Squeeze, 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 give yourself some love, and then when you're ready, exhale, relax into your Shavasana, very well-deserved Shavasana for the glutes, for the body, for the heart rate. Close the eyes and melt into your Shavasana. Always know that you have options in Shavasana. If you'd like your arms along the side of your body, do that. If you would like the arms out overhead with the elbows bent, allow the arms to come out. Or if you want them in an X across your chest, like a little sphinx or a little mummy, do that. But take whatever it feels comfortable for you. If you want to roll on your side, it's your Shavasana. Most important is that you allow the body to absorb all of the goodness that it's just done for itself. Take a full inhale into the body, filling up every little square. Take a lively inhale into your body, filling up all the little parts of the body that you need the breath. Fill up, fill up, fill up. Then begin to wiggle the toes, bringing little movements into your fingers. Inhaling the arms overhead for a big body stretch. Maybe go from the right to the left, whatever feels really good for you. And whenever you're ready, allow the legs to come out of your fabric with the fabric to fall behind your knees, making circles with the feet, bringing the blood back into the ankles and the toes. When you're ready, reach your lovely hands up to your silks and give yourself a gentle pull up to a nice seated position. 
Inhale, the arms up overhead. Palms reach at heart center. Exhale, palms down through heart center. In gratitude, dream, ask, believe, and know it is yours. The light within me, TMAC, acknowledges the light within each and every one of your souls. Thank you so much for joining us here on this Aerial Yoga app. We continue to have you part of our tribe. Namaste.